create our surface offsets. our edges here so you can see we're just selecting this edge this edge and this edge offsetting it five millimeters Same thing for these back features here. So once we do our offsets oops, by selecting the faces, then we're going to project the 3D sketch along the inside of those edges, just tracing the lines. points so we can do our convert entities to project those curves start to trim using the sketch we're going to trim away some of these bases in purple. using the 3D sketch and that edge. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we can start filling in the gaps with a boundary surface. Using our two edges. set up here for that 3D sketch. So that we can give it a direction. sketch on that edge here <clears throat> and select those two edges fill it in Same thing with these. Now we're going to trim the spot for our ear hole using the side view, our two curves here, and we'll trim it through. that face and we're going to use a ruled surface perpendicular to that face normal to surface 20 millimeters out using our edge one Now we are going to extend our surfaces 25 using these three edges, distance of 25 millimeters. trim our bottom surface extend and we'll use another trim Thank you. 
with our front plane sketch here. piece That sketch will be on the right plane. And we'll trim it through this face. That surface extend. Now we're gonna trim out a big part of the surface for the ear cover. side plane using the blueprint here so we have a irregularity in the surface where it kind of sticks out more so we're going to trim that away to then place a shell over it through all select that raised edge and these curves to place the new surface and we'll stitch it up so now we're going to work on some of the head vents cutouts so we're going to first do sketch 47 which will be on our side plane just a simple four-sided sketch here which will then poke through our surface here Same thing with this vent up here. Once again, on the top plane. We'll have this cut out here. here now we're going to roll the surface again on this edge this time the other direction 
20 millimeters. Flip that direction. So we're gonna select this edge and all these edges here on the bottom. Normal to surface. Extend this edge as well. Inward. Now we're going to extrude our two vent holes downwards. So we're going to project a 3D sketch along this edge. Through that edge towards the top plane 10 millimeters same thing on this side towards the front plane 10 millimeters And then we're gonna trim these things sticking out inside the helmet using our original surface offset one, which was five millimeters inside the, the shell. So we're gonna select surface offset one and our outer surface knit and we're going to trim all the parts sticking out all these edges inside surface plane cross these edges here which marks the center half of the helmet We have our surface plane now right here. All right, so plowing ahead, we're going to get ready to flex our ear loops out a little bit to make a better fit. So we're going to do plane 10 shown here, which is going to go through this vertex here parallel to the front plane we're going to do our sketch on that plane 